No. No, Buzz. Adjust B's book club. I finally read We Do This Till We Free Us by Miriam Kaba. Um, this will be about two minutes or about 35 minutes, depending on how my thoughts go, probably. Um, this is a book that I was given very graciously about two years ago by a friend who I, I dearly trust uh, and I had a lot of different feelings about it as I read it. I started it and this is a collection of Kaba's writings over the past decade or so. Um, it's published 2020, I think that's right, 2021. Um, let's, uh, yeah, published 2021, um, been a sort of staple book in my own life, again, as a, as a bookseller mostly, uh, I think I sort of assumed I was going to, if not love, then at least have very positive feelings about, I started reading it, and I, it turns out, have been involved in or adjacent to probably more often uh, the politics that Kaba is uh, describing and and also like a you know one of the one of the things about this book that is that is very cool is like each little chapter each of these chapters is like between two and, and seven pages usually, but they all like very specifically cite the uh, publication that they were originally published in, the the month and the year. Um, so that one I was just pointing to was The Appeal in December of 20, I don't remember. Um, there's this one that I just flipped to is published in In These Times in January 2017. There's a bunch of stuff that's like published in the New Inquiry throughout the mid 2010s when I guess maybe a little after I was writing for them, but when I was still reading them constantly. Um, it all feels very in the same field as I used to be a person who wrote in and uh, then burned out of for any number of reasons. Um, I started reading this book and I felt like it was, I was like, oh, this is like, I started reading this book and I did it on the premise that I want to try to read a, at least one piece of um, serious nonfiction per month in, in this year. I had forgotten that I had already read Of Walking in Ice by Herzog, which I think is a more serious piece of nonfiction very wildly different thing <laughs> um, I don't know why I just compared the two but um, I do because this where I come down on this book ultimately is like I don't whatever um, I started reading it in with that lens in mind I then was in a situation where a person I know whose politics lean libertarian mentioned that like he saw me reading this and he was like oh yeah somebody gave me this that book and I and I, I think it'd be really you know I let me know how it goes because I would you know maybe I should read it and I read sort of a chunk of this book through the framework of thinking about it as a potentially teaching text and then I talked to another friend a much closer friend uh, about this book, um, a person who is, uh, let's say, not a libertarian, at the very least. And my perspective on it shifted again. Again, not th through the sense of, like, what am I reading, what is the, what is the, pro style here how is this informing things but in just in terms of like how is this text useful to people 
And there have been a lot of moments throughout reading this book, which again, from my own background, I feel like I was primed to be like, yeah, cool. I've heard this already good, good enough. Um, the friend uh, introduced me to a potentially useful rubric that I'm going to be thinking about for a long time, uh, which is, is this a thing that confirms your belief or is this a thing that challenges your beliefs and uh, pushes you in a different direction? I think fundamentally, We Do This Till We Free Us is a book that um, confirms your beliefs. I think if you feel inclined towards the sort of broad abolitionism that she's speaking about, and and of course she's working in a very specific tradition, but like I think, I think she only really speaks about it very broadly, again, because these are all sourced from essays that are intended for specific audiences, but no, like, hyper-specific audiences, I guess, unless you include generalist podcasts about histories of abolitionism and or the theoretical practice of abolitionism as uh, specific, which I don't, I don't, abolition as, not abolitionism, abolition as, um, Specific, I don't, I, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I think I ended up actively disliking this book, and I think that I'm glad that this is a Just Bees book club that no one else is allowed to partake in. Because my arguments aren't cogent right now. But there's a very weird thread (laughs) throughout this book um, that I haven't really talked about to anybody. That I've been sort of like thinking on and trying to to try to like work through. And I think that I've still not quite. But a huge portion of We Do This Till We Free Us is uh, Kaba sort of being pressured into and or pressuring, no, not pressuring, um, being pressured into a little bit or like sort of fixating on this idea that like for a long, long time she has been organizing and decentering herself. And the thing that seems to animate this book is the impulse to be like, oh, I actually am a historical figure in some way. Which I don't think is a bad thing in and of itself, but it does make this book that seems like it's sort of a introduction to the idea of abolition to also function as a little bit of a weird hagiography. Like, and its own, just has its own thing. I, it feels a bit like a (laughs) Saul and Paul moment without being like, it's hopefully not being like gross about it but like it it is a collection of work from an author who I think has informed a lot of people of a lot of things has 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 pushed people in 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 very has nudged people in the right direction a lot who a person who has again I would not dispute for a second that she has that Kaba has 
done the work for a very long time and been involved in like i mean you know prison culture is is an extremely important blog in in you know 2010s abolitionism i do think i mean the ism there um but the way this the way this ended up sitting with me through conversations that led me to be like oh hell yeah this would be a really good thing to talk to with this person whose politics suck but maybe has an inclination toward something less shitty or alternatively talking through it with somebody who i know like has been doing the work at least as much for <laughs> not quite as long but like goddamn near it um and it, and it yeah whatever um and like having both of those things and also just like sort of trying to internalize the text and everything i it, it just felt like the thing that is actually unique to the book we do this till we free us is a struggle with becoming known to history and i'm sure i'm sure her most recent books are more interesting than that i guess probably right probably Thanks for not watching.